So welcome to part two of my tutorial on range cards and ballistic calculators. Now if you saw part one, you will have realized that the whole range card thing is not quite as simple as many people make it out to be. The problem with the range cards is that there are just so many variables to take into consideration that you actually have to print a whole lot of cards before you head out on a hunting trip and that's not ideal. So in this video I'm going to propose a different option, one that just makes so much more sense in my opinion and you'll see why I say that as we go along. So to the side of me here, I've got two objects that have absolutely changed my life over the past few months. My smartphone, on which I have an application called Strelock Pro installed, and an anemometer called the Weatherflow Wind Meter that plugs into my smartphone. What makes a setup so perfect for on-the-go shooting is that all those tricky variables that we spoke about in the first part can be read and interpreted in an instant by this device. I'm going to go ahead and give you a full demonstration of what the setup can do, so hold on to your seats. Now obviously you can't just download the app and expect it to work immediately, you've got to enter some basic information, just like we did with Chegun Pro in the first part of this tutorial. But the cool thing about this app is that you can actually save different rifle and pellet combinations and switch between them in seconds. So before I head out on a day of shooting, I'll click on the weather tab. My phone has a built-in barometer, so finding the atmospheric pressure is as simple as just tapping a button. If your device does not have a barometer, you can click weather station and the app will find an accurate estimate of the weather based on your location. For this demonstration, let's pretend we're shooting at a target 75 meters away. Let's just say I know the target's at 75, I've ranged it, so now all I have to do is enter the data into the application. Next, I want to know the incline angle. It's as simple as pointing the crosshairs on your target, clicking OK, and the app will fill it in for you. Finding the wind speed is as simple as pointing the weather flow wind meter into the wind, and again, the app enters the wind speed for you. You enter the wind direction with respect to your line of fire manually, and you press calculate. From here, there are just so many options. You can read the values in MOA or MRAD straight off the home screen. You can read a full table with all kinds of ballistics data for various distances. Or you can look at the reticle view, which is absolutely awesome because there are literally hundreds of reticles to choose from. I've got the Hawk AMX reticle selected. This is the reticle that's on the, the new Hawk AMX 30 scope. And there's just so much to talk about here. You can change the magnification on the scope and it will show you how your point of impact changes. You can read the different holdover and windage values straight off the aim points on the reticle. You can turn the vertical turret to change your aim point. It's really an incredible app. I just want to clear up something here quickly though. There's more than one version of this app on the App Store. There's a free version and there's a paid version. The free version doesn't give you anywhere near as many features. Yes, you can get by using it, I'm sure, but I would say it's completely worth it spending the $10 or so on the, the full version of the app because there are just so many features and it's going to help you a lot when you get out into the field. Just wanted to clear that up. So there are many advantages to using an app like Strelock Pro as opposed to range cards, but what about the disadvantages? Well, for one, the app is on a smartphone and you do not want the smartphone running out of battery in the middle of a hunting trip. Another disadvantage is that by taking your smartphone out into the field with you, you risk damaging it and those things are expensive. You can't really damage a laminated card now too much, can you? And even if you do, you can probably just reprint another one. I am loving Strelok at the moment because I have quite a few guns and I hunt in all kinds of different conditions. So when I do use cards, I generally end up carrying a whole file of them out into the field and it's just not suitable for what I do. I can't see myself going back to the cards in the near future. Strelok seems to be the way forward for me and I'm sure a lot of you guys will be converted to the digital way after seeing this video as well. And that is a wrap. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I really appreciate it. You can subscribe to this channel for more tutorials and hunting videos and I hope to see you next time.